very, very exciting. Obviously, these are our heroes, Rafa Condor team. Uh, the ride today has been great. You know, it's you get a chance to see some other people from around the country um, who are not racing cyclists themselves, but enjoy the sport for what it is. You know, I read about these guys in Cycling Weekly and see them on the telly. So a chance to come and ride with a former British champion, it's just, it's been brilliant for me. It's absolutely brilliant. Chance of a lifetime. Well, it's been great today riding with some new people and them wearing the prostate cancer charity jerseys which is always great to get the jersey out there to spread the word a little bit more and to have a chat to them and see what level they're at and help them improve possibly. Their cycling methods have uh, showed us how to cycle more efficiently but sometimes uh, when you go up a hill you can be pedaling too aggressively so it's definitely shown us the way to go and uh, we've really enjoyed it. Well, it's been really exciting just because we've had the opportunity to be out with uh, Rafa Condor and Pro Riders. Once in a lifetime opportunity that I'm sure we're never going to experience again. Tour riders themselves are the closest that your amateur cyclist is going to get to ride in the same sort of stages as the professional riders here in the, uh, in the UK. You can have many of the Tour de France riders coming over to, to ride the Tour of Britain and these are the three key stages in the Tour of Britain this year that are part of the tour rides and they are they're really, really challenging routes and uh, uh, will be a worthy challenge for any cyclist. It was absolutely fantastic organisation. The, the marshals, the feed stations, the start and finish line were brilliant. They made us feel really special when we finished as well. There were a lot of people there, helpers and, and guys from Prostate and it, it, we did have a fantastic day. It was as well organised as the Tour of Britain itself. All the signage is exactly the same as it would be on the Tour of Britain. You're going to have marshals out on the route. You're going to have uh, support from, uh, hopefully you won't need it, but from first aid and so on and so forth. I've done quite a few rides, but this one tops it a lot by a long way. Uh, so if you love riding a bike, this is definitely a great event to go and do. And the fact that it supports prostate cancer is, it just adds to it. You know you're doing it for a good cause. Definitely a subject that um, I've got close to heart because my father-in-law has actually had his prostate gland removed and I've also got a relative at the moment who's having um, treatment for it so it's definitely a charity that's close to my heart and people should get more into cycling, general fitness and when you're raising money for a charity it does spur you on to do more. My wife's a chemotherapy specialist um, so to do something uh, for prostate cancer it is great because I know how important it is and I get to see the effects of, of what cancer is so you know for me it's, it's really good and it's, it's important I love doing it. You know if you're going to sign up for a charity ride this has got to be the one to do. It's a great organisation, great team, what a way to spend a Sunday.